What's going on, everybody? Well, the Vikings announced that they have traded Zadarius Smith to the Cleveland Browns for a swap of fifth round picks. In 2024, they'll swap Cleveland's fifth with our sixth, and in 2025, we'll swap Cleveland's fifth for our seventh. We knew this was coming. The day was inevitable. Zadarius Smith, about nine weeks ago, said he didn't want to be here anymore, sold his house, and said his goodbyes on Twitter to the Minnesota Vikings fans. Nothing like a good Friday night news dump to catch you into the weekend, right? The pick well, swaps are nice and everything, but this also frees up roughly $12.1 million in salary cap space. And I say roughly because Zadarius reworked his contract with the Cleveland Browns, and his salary this season will be $11.75 million. We don't know if the Vikings are picking up any of the freight on that. So we're going to just estimate it to be a savings of somewhere between 8 and 11 million dollars because they probably had to eat some of that money uh to facilitate this trade Zedaria signed a three-year deal with the Vikings last offseason, but it was more or less a one-year prove-it deal. Years two and three were vastly underpaying him, and Zedarius probably figured that if he had a great season that he'd be able to renegotiate his contract. He had a great first half of the season in which he wrapped up 10 sacks. In the second half of the season, albeit you were suffering from a knee contusion that you suffered in the Buffalo game, only had half a sack for the rest of the year. Vikings held fast and said, no, we're not giving you a raise and ultimately found a trade partner with the Cleveland Browns. He'll be joining former Viking Dalvin Tomlinson, who signed with the Browns this offseason. Ultimately, the Vikings just absolutely could not afford the price tag that the Browns had ended up giving him. Still got Daniil Hunter under contract, who might be able to get reworked now, might be able to give Daniil the raise he's seeking and being able to keep him for at least a couple more seasons. And with the acquisition of Marcus Davenport, the Vikings should still have two premier pass rushers. It was fun watching Zedarius Smith play week one against the Green Bay Packers where he sacked Aaron Rodgers a couple of times. Can't really blame Zedarius saying, hey, I've only got so much time left and I need a bigger payday. Also, don't blame the Vikings for not hanging on to a player or acquiescing to that player's demands. The Vikings will now have enough cash to sign their draft picks as well as hopefully sign Daniel Hunter to an extension if they so desire to keep him around. And at this point, now that Zedarius Smith is gone, I really hope they do. But those are my thoughts. Tell me yours. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Did the Vikings get enough for Zadarius Smith at this point? Being that it's two fifth round picks, but ultimately you're still giving back a sixth and a seventh. And for me, the biggest part of this is just freeing up that salary cap space. Let me know what you think. Thank you kindly for joining me. And Skull, to the next episode.